Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to an introduction to an idea I had based on an idea somebody else had named David and I'm going to put together. Guys, I am going to throw a CPU tournament. Yes, I'm going to be throwing a tournament between all of the main AI characters from page 1 and 2 in this game on Wednesday. Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be streaming the tournament of every single character in this game, main character that is, going at it. And today I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to be giving out prizes to anybody who guesses which character is going to win the whole tournament. You only get to guess one character. And if your character manages to receive third place, I've decided that I will take your deck idea and I will use it in Tag Force 3 or in the beginning of Destiny, depending on what game you want me to play it in. So if there's a deck you've been wanting me to use, something that you created yourself, and your character gets third place, I will make that deck and I will use it in the series. Now... If your character gets second place, I've decided to sweeten the deal a lot more by giving you a subscriber duel. Yes, if the character you vote for to win the tournament gets at least second place, I will have a subscriber duel with you, something that I've had to cancel due to time constraints, but if I only give it to one or two people because their character won the game, then yes, I can do it. And I'll still do the deck idea for you, so I'll also do whatever deck you want me to use for the Tag Force 3 and Beginning of Destiny series. Based on your recommendation, you just gotta tell me the cards to use as long as I own those cards. Can't give me future cards if they don't exist or if I don't own them. However, if you, or I mean, if your character that you voted for gets first place, I have decided that I will do a video, an entire video of any game, as long as I own the system for it, that you want me to play. Any video game that you want me to play or do a video on, I will do it. And if I enjoy the game enough, I will do an entire series of it, an entire let's play of it. So if your character that you guess manages to get first place, I will do that. However, if multiple people vote for the same character to get first place and that character does get first place, I have decided that each person that won that will be able to post what game they want me to play. And then based on those posts, I will create a poll and then the fans will decide which of those games they want me to play. And you will still get the subscriber duel because it doesn't matter you got first. I will also give you uh, everyone that got first place a subscriber duel and I'll even uh, uh, do your deck ideas. So these are the prizes for the guests that you guys make. You can only guess one character and I need to know your guesses before Wednesday's tournament. So please give me those guesses in the comment section below. But I'm not going to just leave you with that, don't you worry. I'm also going to show you who you can pick. So let me uh, let me get down here on my computer. We're going to go to the CPU tournament. There are 40 characters in this game you can choose from. It is going to be a 40-person tournament. 40 AIs playing horribly against each other with no human uh, interaction or human intervention. So, the first character you can choose is Jaden. And I've decided that Jaden will be using his Neospatian deck. The second character you can choose is the Supreme King. And the Supreme King will be using his Evil Hero deck. That is right, the evil heroes. The next person you could choose is Cyrus Truesdale, who will be using his Underworld Roids deck. His Underworld Roids deck. It's a little bit of Zane and a lot of Roids. The next person you can choose is Chaz Princeton, and Chaz Princeton will be using his Ojama deck. After that, if you don't want them, you could always choose Zane Truesdale, and Zane Truesdale will be using his Underworld Cyber Dragon deck. If Zane isn't your speed, you could always pick Blair Flanagan, and Blair Flanagan will be using her Light Sworn deck. If Blair Flanagan isn't who you want, you could always choose Alexis, and Alexis will be using her Cyber Angel deck. Cyber Angel deck, everybody. If you don't want to choose Alexis, you could always choose Bastion Masawa, who will be using his Wind Attribute deck with Sigmorph. Yes, I only have the one. He only has this Wind Attribute deck in this game right now. If you don't want to pick him, you could always pick Tyranno Hasseberry and his Ultimate Tyranno deck. His dinosaur deck is pretty cool. If not, you can go for Aster Phoenix and his Destiny Hero deck. There is also Jesse Anderson and his Dark Crystal Beast deck. He also, remember, he uses Advanced Dark in this game, so he uses the Dark Crystal Beast. If you don't think Jesse's going to win or you just don't want to pick Jesse because you don't like him, you could always pick Sartorius and his Arcana deck. 
If you don't like Sartorius, we have the Vice Chancellor Bonaparte and his Toy Emperor deck. Yes, Toy Emperor. I don't think anyone's going to vote for Bonaparte. If he manages to win and no one votes for him, that makes my life a lot easier. If you don't want to vote for him, you could always vote for Adrian Gecko and his Cloudian deck. He also has uh, uh, Ultimate Defense Ex Exodia or whatever, something like that, but it's, it's a Cloudian mixed deck. If you don't want to vote for him, there's always Jim Crocodile Cook and his Fossil Fusion deck. Yep, Jim uses the Fossil Fusion deck. There's also Axel Brody, and Axel Brody is using his Volcanic deck. He might actually be able to pull off a win. Volcanic decks are pretty effective. If you don't think he's going to win, there's always Velian Crowler, and Crowler will be using his Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem deck with Gear Town. If you don't think he's going to win, we are going to also be using Atticus Rhodes. We are not going to have Night Shroud in the series, just Atticus Rhodes. However, Atticus Rhodes will be using Night Shroud's deck, the Red Eyes Darkness Dragon deck. If you don't want to pick Atticus, you could always pick Damon and his Exodia Burn deck. Yes, it's all about draw power and burning your opponents and trying to get Exodia. There is also Jasmine and her Harpy Lady deck. That is right, Jasmine will be using her Harpy Lady deck. A pretty effective deck all in all. She's probably one of the better uh, tier or page 2 duelists. There is also Mindy and her Cutesy Cat Burn deck. Not even joking, her, we've partnered with her. Her deck is just a bunch of cutesy cards that do burns, and she's the only person I've ever drawn against twice. Not intentionally. So, she's actually not that bad. She's not the great. She's not the greatest at winning, but she's good at getting draws. If you don't want to vote for her, there's always the much loved Dark Magician Girl and her Dark Magician deck and Magician Girl deck, but a Dark Magician deck. So this is a super Dark Magician deck. It's all the Dark Magician cards, including Dark Ma uh, Magician of Black. Uh, no, not Black Chaos. Um, Dark Magician of Chaos, something like no, Magician of Black Chaos, something like that. Not the not the Ritual Monster, but the Effect Monster that has the really good effect about removing monsters from play and getting a spell card. You could also pick Jinzo and his Jinzo Lord deck. So he's anti-trap, but he also focuses on summoning the Jinzo Lord. If you don't want to pick Jinzo, you could always pick Sadie. That's right. Sadie will also be in the tournament, and her, she will be using a pretty effective burn deck. Just straight up burn. If you don't want to pick Sadie, you could always pick Dorothy. And Dorothy, if I can let her use it, will be using her partner, the partner's deck, which will be her synchro summoning deck. If she can't use that deck, then Dorothy's going to be forced to use her, her horrible, horrible deck that still has monsters that she can summon, but it's all about losing life points. You could also vote for Fonda Fontaine, one of the professors, and she uses an anti-heal deck. She heals you and her opponent, but her opponent gets screwed over by her nurse card and her bad reaction to Samochi card. She even runs gift card with this combo. Pretty effective teacher, honestly. If you don't want to go with that and you really want to gamble, you can pick the Gambler, who uses all dice cards and all flip coin cards. So he's a pretty interesting duelist. I honestly don't know how far he'll go. Depends on the luck. You could also vote for Yasmin and her Gravekeeper deck. Yasmin's Gravekeeper deck is actually pretty effective and counters a lot of the people in this series, because a lot of the people in this series need to work with their graveyards. Gravekeepers are pretty effective, and I think she is someone you might want to look out for. She might win it. There is also Titan of the Shadow Risers and his Archfiend deck. If you like Archfiend monsters, I would vote for Titan. Remember, don't just vote for the guy you think is going to win. You might as well vote for the guy you want to win. Because the less people that want uh, that vote for the same character as you means the less people you have competition with if you get first place and you want to pick a game. If somebody picks a character and their character wins and they were the only person to pick that character, they are guaranteed to pick the game that I have to play for the channel. Or I get to play for the channel, depending on... Uh, pessimistic or optimistic. We'll see what the game is. I don't know yet. I mean, just please don't pick Minecraft. <laughs> the next uh, person you could pick is the Paradox Brothers Dox. He will be using the Gate Guardian deck. I do not have Para, just Dox. Next, we'll be using Lyman Banner. We will not be using Amnael. We will be picking Lyman Banner. Lyman Banner will be using his Remove from Play deck that basically Amnael uses anyway. The next person you can pick is a one of the Shadow Riders, Camula. Camula will be using her Vampire Slash Zombie deck. If you don't want to choose Camula, you could always choose Tanya. Tanya will be using her Amazonist deck. A pretty effective deck since she uses the Amazonist Swordswoman. If you don't want to pick Tanya, we have Don Zalug and his Dark Scorpion deck. Honestly, I don't think he stands a single chance of winning. He's one of the weakest page 2 characters. Yeah, I say I have 7 losses against him. I don't care. He's one of the weakest. 
If you don't want Don Zalug, you could also pick Kagamura, Maru, sorry, Kagamaru, and he will be using his Sacred Beast deck. The Sacred Beast deck is a freaking effective one, and I think it is a big contender for first place in this series. So if you think uh, Kagamura is going to win it, you can pick him, or if you just like the Sacred Beasts, you can pick him. Next, we have our underdog Chumley Huffington, who is my new partner because he managed to take down Dark Magician Girl by luck, but he did it, and Bastion by skill. Um, that's not to say Bastion and Dark Magician Girl couldn't win it. It is AI dueling AI. They totally could just mess up. So Chumley Huffington, he is the underdog, but he might be able to pull it off seeing that he is, uh, I don't know. He's got something. He's got something. If you like Beast Monsters and his Australian deck, I would choose Chuff and Chumley. Next, uh, we got the Ubel using her Ubel deck. We are currently partnered with Ubel, and all she focuses on is summoning herself and then using Ubel, the ultimate nightmare, to win the duel. She's uh, a back and forth uh, enemy. I would say she has pretty useful cards, but she can brick pretty easily. So, and as long as she doesn't brick, she's going to instantly win. She's a contender. Next, we have Truman and his Dark World deck. Yes, if you like the Dark World monsters, I would suggest voting for Truman. And Truman, uh, I don't got much to say about him. He's a, he's a pretty good duelist, and I would say he has a good chance of getting top five. Next, we have Fujiwara and his Clear World deck. He uses a bunch of clear monsters, and uh, I don't understand him very well, honestly. I don't know the man. I don't know Fujiwara very well. If you watch the fourth season, maybe you do, but uh, yeah. Apparently, his thing is that he was the rival to Zane, or no, he was better than Zane when Zane first came to the Academy. But, uh, yeah, that's all 39 characters. Oh, wait, I said there would be 40. That is right. I will also allow one Tier 3 character in, and it's going to be Ken Yu. The only th a th uh, Tier 3 character to join, Duelist 3, whatever, and he will be using his Mushroom Man deck. If you vote for Ken Yu, you are going to lose. Okay, I'm going to admit it. I love Ken Yu, but you're going to lose. That is all 40 characters you can choose in this series to be, you know, the champion. Remember, if you get first, I will play the game you want me to play. But if you and a bunch of other people pick that character, then you each get to put down your uh, the game you want me to play. Plus, I'll give you a bun uh, I'll give you each a subscriber duel, and I'll use a deck of your design in these Let's Plays. However, if you get second, I will still give you a subscriber duel and do and use a deck that you design in these Let's Plays. And if you get third, I will still use a deck you design just on your own. If your character happens to win and you don't want to cash in any of these prizes, that is completely fine. You're not forced to do anything you don't want to do. But I would still say vote for a character you like because it's just fun. We're going to watch a bunch of AIs fight each other. And just to remind you, this will be happening on Wednesday. Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Central. I mean, 7 p.m. Eastern time. If you don't understand, I, I mean, if you don't know the time zones or if you're not in those two time zones, just follow me on Twitch and it will be scheduled. So it will tell you in your time, in your time zone, when you need to watch. And if you miss it, don't worry. I'll upload it to YouTube a day after and then you can find out who won. But I need to get your votes in the comments of these videos now. Let me know now. You can only vote for one character. You only get one vote. And I will write down everybody's votes. And if you vote for a character that has less people, you have a uh, less people voting for that character, you have a higher chance of getting what you want. Don't forget, anybody can win these duels. This is AI versus AI. The AI is stupid. I Chumley beat Dark Magician Girl, for crying out loud. So, I mean, anything can happen. That's going to be it, guys. I'll see you all on Wednesday for the tournament. Please give me your votes as soon as possible. And don't be afraid to do it. Even if you don't want the prizes, which I'm sure you do. Everyone's been asking for subscriber duels, and this is your only chance to get it. But um, if you've been asked, uh, I mean, if you don't want the prizes, you're not forced to get them. At least vote for a character. Let's have some fun together. Bye bye.